What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning into the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Today we'll show you an extensive footwear preview by Jordan Brand. Um, they invited us out to the Nike New York headquarters to check out upcoming fall 2018 footwear. And for those of you who don't know, fall is July, August, and September. So this isn't everything that's gonna drop in those three months, but this is pretty much a majority. Of course, there are some special editions and quick strikes and uh, they definitely have stuff hidden up their sleeves, but for the most part, these are what you'll see hitting stores in the next three months. Before we begin, we'd like to ask you a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. On our YouTube channel, we're gonna have other footwear previews, event recaps, of course, our unboxings, and other special features, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified first uh, when we upload new videos. Let's go into it and we'll show you shoe by shoe what's dropping this fall 2018 season. All right, so first up is the Air Jordan 3 Retro K54. For those of you who don't know, every year Jordan Brand hosts a basketball tournament in Paris called K54, and they commemorate the event by releasing a special edition retro release. This year it is a Jordan 3. It features a black suede upper with K54 logos on the heel as well as the tongue. And as you can see, there's a very colorful pattern on the heel as well as the outsole. All right, next up is a brand new sneaker called the Jordan Legacy 312. It's actually a hybrid of three different shoes, the Air Jordan 1, the Air Jordan 3, and the Nike Air Alpha Force Low. So you can definitely see elements of the 1 and the 3 and that basketball shoe on the eyelids and on the strap. And you've already seen Don C preview some colorways, but we're here to show you three never before seen colorways. They're all inspired by Nike classics of the early 1990s, you have one that's inspired by the Air Command Force, worn by Billy Hoyle in White Men Can Jump. Then you have this brown medicine ball colorway from the Air Trainer 3, it's a shoe that Bo Jackson wore. And finally, you have this hot lava colorway from Andre Agassi's Nike Air Tech Challenge 2. So the Jordan Legacy 312 is somewhat of a signature shoe for Don C. It does have the Just Don logo on the tongue and also features the Jumpman logo on the heel. So the Jordan Legacy 312 was designed in collaboration with Don C. Um, Jordan Brand confirms that the shoe sizing will go down to a men's size three and a half, which is a women's size five. And the reason why they do this is that Don C is very conscious about making shoe sizes available for the full family. So they're gonna drop this down to a men's three and a half. So hopefully both men and women can wear this shoe. And the global launch date is set for July 14th. All right, up next is the Air Jordan Back to School collection inspired by three Jordan brand athletes, Russell Westbrook, Chris Paul, and Carmelo Anthony. Releasing on June 30th is an Air Jordan 10 retro inspired by Westbrook's alma mater of Luzinger High School. It has a white leather upper and a split color design of red and blue. There's also satin and leather details all around the shoe and inside the insole is class of 2006. Again, this one releases on June 30th. Next up is an Air Jordan 12 Retro inspired by Chris Paul and his high school of West Forsyth. It has the school colors of olive, sail, black, and metallic gold. And instead of the classic leather, they use satin and suede. On the left insole, you'll see Class of 2003, and on the right insole, you'll see the CP3 logo. This Air Jordan 12 releases on August 11th. The third and final colorway of the Air Jordan Back to School collection is inspired by Carmelo Anthony and Oak Hill Academy. He graduated back in 2002, and this Jordan 13 features a black upper with satin materials, uh, yellow suede, and red detailing on the tongue as well as on the sole. Just like the previous two, you'll see Class of 2002 on the left insole, the Mellow logo on the right insole. This shoe drops September 15th. So this September, Jordan Brand will release yet another set of Air Jordan 1s, and each of these three colorways will be available only at select regions. You have an olive colorway, a guava ice, which is like a light pink, and vintage coral, which is the bright orange. Now each of these have an oversized logo of Air on the medial side, and on the lateral side, you'll see some basic brand text that you might find on tongue labels and on shoe boxes. So the olive canvas version will be available only in Greater China, as well as the Asia Pacific and Latin America regions. The guava ice will be available only in North America, as well as the Asia Pacific and Latin America regions. And finally, the vintage coral will be only available in Europe, 
the Middle East, and in Africa. All three released on September 1st. Next up is the Air Jordan 13 Retro He Got Game. Of course, you know that this colorway was featured in that movie He Got Game with Ray Allen and Denzel Washington, directed by Spike Lee. So it drops August 25th, it's a 20th anniversary. This shoe drops August 25th, and it's somewhat of a 20th anniversary celebration of this shoe. So we expect this one to be really popular. Next up is the Air Jordan International Flight Collection. Now this set of releases is inspired by an international event that Michael Jordan participated in during the off season. The Air Jordan 3, which drops on July 7th, is inspired by a friendly exhibition match in Los Angeles and the white, blue, and red colorway is actually inspired by the jerseys that he wore. Now these are special because it features the Michael Jordan signature on the tongue. We've never seen that before on Air Jordan Retro. This drops on July 7th. The Air Jordan 5 is also inspired by another exhibition game, but this one was in Barcelona, Spain. The white, blue, and red colorway is inspired by the jerseys that he wore for that game. And inside the inner lining takes inspiration from Barcelona street art. This Air Jordan 5 drops on August 4th. The third and final release of the Air Jordan International Flight Collection is this Air Jordan 12. In 1996, Michael Jordan went to Tokyo to host a basketball clinic. So this release sort of pays homage to that trip. It features cherry blossom details. It says Air Jordan in Japanese lettering. And of course, you know, the Air Jordan 12 itself was inspired by the rising sun and the Japanese flag. This release drops on September 8th. Next up is a continuation of the collaboration between Levi's and Jordan brand. Just like the first drop, the Air Jordan 4 features full denim uppers, one in white and one in black. Both also feature gum soles, leather tongue labels, and leather hang tags. Also, there will be matching reversible jackets that feature the white denim as well as a black denim. Both of those release on June 30th. Next up is a brand new Russell Westbrook lifestyle shoe called the Jordan Westbrook 0.3. This is his third off-court shoe. It's inspired by Southern California roots and the, his effortless street style. It features the RW logo on the tongue and it'll be available in three different colorways this fall. Another Westbrook shoe is actually a low top of his current signature shoe, the Jordan Why Not 0.1. Releasing this July, the Jordan Why Not 0.1 will be available in an all black, a gray speckle, and a third UCLA inspired colorway. Next up is an Air Jordan 1 Retro High made exclusively for women. As you can see, it features a flat black leather upper, but it's paired with a very luxurious premium snakeskin type material. This isn't an OG pair, so it will not feature Nike Air on the tongue. Expect this release sometime this fall. Continuing the whole reptile theme is an Air Jordan 13 Retro in white and a light gray. It features a white leather upper with a reptile croc print that goes alongside the heel down to the mud guard. Just like the Air Jordan 1, these will drop sometime this fall. All right, so that was the Jordan Fall 2018 preview. Thanks for watching. Why don't you tell us what your favorite shoe is from this entire preview? And of course, before you leave, we like to ask you to quickly hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. If you want to learn more about the shoes, check the links below and we'll see you next time.